Hi, welcome to my channel. And today I'm just gonna go over a whole bunch of products that I recently purchased online. It is social distancing shopping and it is very dangerous. First and foremost, I'll go through the Ipsy subscription. I said I wasn't gonna renew it. And then quarantine happened and I was like, I just want some joy sent to me in the mail every month. It was just nice to have something different and exciting. Here's the Ipsy bag for this month. It is for May 2020, Get That Glow. They've changed it up. It used to be a card that had all the list of the products, but they didn't list the products. So it, I don't know if May is just like, let's just give away everything. They send you an email to tell you what's going to be in your bag if you want to know. Bag came this beautiful sparkly brush with the rhinestones on it. It's so pretty. Smliss Glam SS57 Blender. It's supposed to be white. So this is a dirty brush. Can't wait to try that again. The May bag is this pretty thing. And I got a Yensa Color and Face Skin on Sin BC Concealer, which is BB plus CC plus full coverage. And this is the color medium warm. Never heard of it. There's the Invigorating Hand and Body Lotion, Sweet Orange and Elemi, 100% natural. Manufactured in Canada, wayofwill.com. It smells like it's made of essential oils. There's orange and it smells like juniper or something, something real tree-y. Blend of shea and cocoa seed butters. Sweet almond avocado oils. Includes sweet orange es essential oil. Fresh cit citrus scent. I wouldn't say it's a citrus scent. It's more of a, almost like a eucalyptus. It comes in this bottle. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. It, it would have been better if it was like a flatter container like this, where you can dip it in. Cause this bottle's not very squeezable. So I don't know how I'm gonna get the rest of that out. We'll figure it out later, I guess. The next product is First Aid Beauty Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. Apply to clean, dry skin, allow to absorb tissue off any excess. So a hardcore moisturizer is what that looks like. And the last and not least is the Tarte H2O Gloss, lip gloss. And the color is Sail Away. So let's crack this puppy open. It smells vanilla-y or like a cookie or some kind of baking. It's a nice um, neutral color, just a touch sticky. Mmm, mmm, it's kind of tasty. Mm. Okay, my next purchase is Sephora had a 20% off sale. In my in my moody makeup video, I was lamenting about the price of Huda Beauty eyeshadows, and my amazing friend Christy was like, "Sorry, I had some poopy time. Here's a little pick me up," and she freaking gave me a gift card to Sephora. Um, so I bought the dang <laughs> palette with it. And so here is the Huda Beauty uh, Rich Nude Palette. Yeah! 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 Is this really that big of a moment for you? Yeah! And let's compare it to the uh, palette that I got for $3 from China. China? Cardboard packaging, no mirror. Huda, plastic packaging, mirror. So the, the shades are different. You get less in here. And the shimmers are more shimmery in here. Tones are darker here compared to the middle row. And the top row, this one's a little bit darker than that one. So very close to a dupe. But yeah, I can't wait to try that out. Those are just... Hello me. I'm hoping it's good quality stuff. This one, it was hard to blend and the colors did not stay, but I wasn't wearing an eyeshadow primer. So hopefully the colors will be more pigmented, and will last longer, will be easier to blend. Someday I'll try it. <laughs> Just haven't had a chance to yet because I'm not going anywhere. The next thing I bought, which I showed in my last video, was the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Subversive. And these are the colors here, and I've stuck my finger in all of them just to see what they do, and they're very nice. These two are definitely amazing metallics. I can't remember what this one does. It's a shimmery metallic. Oh, 
And this one's definitely a shimmer. Very excited to try these on a, on a look. My friend, who is a makeup artist, her name's Michelle Lovell, she sells eyelashes. She does wedding makeup. Ooh. Ah. And so she has her own eyelashes that she sells. Um, so I picked up these gorgeous things these are like three quarter they're not full lashes which is really nice because then you just put them like almost to the middle of your eye and out i got this other pair of lashes i believe these ones are called princess so these are going to be floofier they're going to be all the way around so they're going to add major drama to your eyes so i'm excited to try these guys out they were ten dollars each which isn't too bad for lashes and they should be reusable so you should get a couple of uses out of them I shopped at Shoppers Online, <laughs> and all of this stuff was delivered to me, which makes it so dangerous. I got a free sample of Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I'm excited to try that out. I have a lot of texture on my skin, so anything to blur that or smooth it out would be nice, because my skin's like, I've got bumps and stuff. Then there's the Sukin Australian Hydrating Mist Toner, paraben and alcohol free. Um, I was really curious to try this. I'm gonna, I need a new toner. I'm running out of my Pixi one, and, and the Pixi one isn't doing anything for my skin anymore, I feel. So I've been using it for a while, so I think I just need to change it up and try something different. So I'm gonna try this, and then if this doesn't work, I'll go back to Pixi, and hopefully by then it'll start working again. I've been finding I've been doing more and more 80s looks because before the um, pandemic happened, my friends and I were frequenting 80s dances. There's this band in Kitchener-Waterloo called Smile and Wave, and they're awesome <laughs> 80s cover band. And so we all dress up the full 80s look, clothes, hair, makeup. And I'm always wanting an orange lip, but I don't have orange lip products, so I should probably get something to help me out. So I got this Wet n Wild lip liner. The color is called Doll in Love Again 659D. That's a nice peachy lip for it is. I got this NYX Build em Up Powder Brow. I want to be able to fill in my brows, and I've tried pencils. And I just find that I like color it in and then buff it out so that you don't really see hair strokes. So I'm like, well, maybe I should just get a powder and then try that. And the colors that I tend to use are really dark. So I wanted to try this medium color to see if that'll add a shadowy look and not make the eyebrows so intense. I want them filled out, but I don't want them to be like black lines that make me look like Groucho Marx. Just because these were so inexpensive, this is the Essence It's All About Brows 4-in-1 Palette. And there's two soft brow powders, blendable highlighting powder, and a transparent wax to keep those suckers in place. So that'll be interesting to try. Essence is such a great brand. It's so inexpensive, and the price, the quality is awesome. So I really enjoy Essence products. Here's another Essence lip liner. It's hard to tell online what the colors are. It's like a orangier red, a warmer red. It'll still come in handy. And this is a beautiful coral from Annabelle. Annabelle is a Canadian company. It says, uh, made in the Czech Republic but it's um, from Montreal, Canada. And so there's the coral color. That's gonna be a nice color because it's like almost an orangey pink, which is like perfect for 80s. And last but not least, I was trying to find an orange lipstick because lip liner really dries my lips out. Couldn't find an orange or coral, even coral lipstick, which I thought there would be some coral somewhere, but there was none to be had online at Shoppers. I tried the Sephora, but like, I don't want to pay over $10 for a lipstick that I'm only going to use for 80s dances. I think that's a little ridiculous. The only thing I could find was at Shoppers Drug Mart online was this Marcel, and it's not even close to orange. And it's really metallic-y, which it was really cheap, so I didn't mind spending it. I think it was maybe like $3.99 or something. So this is the Rouge Expression 275 Metallic Sparkling Champagne. And it is sparkling. Look at that. That is impressive. It's an interesting color. I think if I put 
this liner underneath and then that over top, it would really bring out the orange and just make it look so crazy, which is perfect for 80s night. <laughs> the crazier the better, I always say. I'm gonna try to throw together a look with all my new stuff that I got. I don't know what I'm gonna use yet, but we'll figure it out. But first I'm gonna start with the base and I'm gonna start with this Yenza. I'm gonna get my foundation brush. This is the Pixie foundation brush that I got online at Shoppers. I went to the dollar store and I found for $4 Pixie Woo makeup book for four dollars. It was online for at least 30 and that was in 2018 when they first brought it out and I was I so wanted to buy it but I was like I can't spend 30 dollars on a book and this was before I was doing a YouTube channel. I had YouTube videos so like what do I need a book for? But it was Pixie Woo damn it. They're so good. I almost died and went to heaven so I bought it and I bought it quick and I started reading through it. I haven't finished yet and you I find a lot of the times I get stuck in a rut of just doing the same thing over and over again um, and developing bad habits. And one of my bad habits is always putting too much product on my hand and then too much product on my face and wondering why it gets cakey and why it looks awful because it's too much. Stop using so much. Having said that, I use too much. They also said that start with small amounts, blend it in and then add some more if you need some more, but only a little bit more and just keep going like that. Is it gonna take forever to do your makeup? Yeah, but hopefully in the end, it means that your makeup looks flawless and it, which means that it looks like your skin, but it's hiding all those irritating imperfections. I don't wanna look like a zombie or a corpse. Thank you very much. So I'm taking the extra that's on my hand, I'm dabbing it a bit, and then I'm just going to the areas that have more condensed red spots to see if maybe I can just use the leftover foundation to fill in those spots as opposed to using concealer. The less layers on my face, the less likely it's going to look cakey and drying. But so far, my red spots are very stubborn and they're like, no, we will shine through, rude. I'm not convinced this is full coverage because I can see a lot of my color coming through. Now I have a lot of color and it's dark, so I mean, it, it could mean that uh, my spots are just really aggressive. But let's see if adding another layer will fix that. So I added a second layer of foundation on. So far it looks okay. It's gathering a little bit here. I think it's a little too yellow for my complexion. Looking in with my natural light, it looks a little yellow. I mean, yellow cancels out the red a little bit, that's nice, but when the yellow doesn't match the rest of your body, not so nice. <laughs> yeah, you can see the difference. Feels a little on the tacky side. Let's move on to brow products. I think on one brow, I'm gonna try the Essence, and on the other brow, I'm gonna try the NYX, just because I can. And this wax is intriguing me. And it comes with this cute, teeny tiny little brush that I will lose. Let's go for the darkest tone. Ooh, that's nice and subtle so far. You know what, I should have read the instructions to see if you're supposed to put the wax on first or the powder on first. I would assume you put the wax on first because the color might stay a little bit. Look how small that. <laughs> Wee. Use the brow powder individually or mix your perfect shade to fill your brow. Apply the shimmering highlighting powder below the brows to lift them. Use the wax to fix the brow powder or to tame the brows, including brush, perfect for on the go. It would be perfect for on the go. It's be fit nicely into your purse cute little brush that you can have if you need to, if you notice during the day that your eyebrow has disappeared. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the spoolie. I think that's what you're supposed to do. That's probably way too much. Why would you do that, Paula? Why? Oopsie. Oh no! Tidy brush! Foundation is not sitting well right there. I think I'm gonna have to spritz my face with the moisturizer. It feels so dry and still tacky. But the eyebrow, not too shabby. I like that. 
it's not really dark. It looks to me like my eyebrow once upon a time looked like when it had more hair. <sighs> Those were the days. I'm just gonna go in with the highlight. Poppin. I like this. Okay, next is the NYX Build Em Up Powder Brow Filler in B-U-B P-05 Brunette. Ooh, you can hear the... Oh no. What did I do? Oh no. I'm just gonna go in full hog here. Now this is all powder, so I'm very skeptical that it's gonna stay longer than an hour because I touch my face, so just one little f and it's gonna disappear, I'm sure. That's looking a little, a little crazy. Soften that up a little bit. But now I've spread it everywhere. Okay, well, that wasn't very good, now was it? So I've got that powder down, but I, I want to go back in with the wax and the brow highlight. Oh, I like this so far. Pretty sure there's still a lot of wax left on here. I can't tell if the wax is actually getting in there. That's probably way too much brow highlight. I think the name of my channel should be way too much because I'm very heavy handed. <laughs> Ooh, look at that little sheen. That's cute. On my last video, we tried some Pat McGrath. So I think it's time to bust out the Huda Beauty Nude Rich palette. It's time. Oh God, I don't even know. Oh, what color? Oh, decisions, decisions. There's so many me's. I'm gonna start with this color here. Yeah. Fingers crossed. This is my Real Techniques Instapop Shade Brush. And I like the shape of it. It's slanted so that you can either use the flat part of it or just the edge. Versatile brush, I like it. And the price is just right. Oh yeah, giggity giggity. Okay. So not as highly pigmented as I thought, but still good and not patchy. Okay, Huda, okay. So now I just want to build up the color. That is a pretty color. It's pretty, I'm not usually a pink person. And now because I like a smokier look, I'm using the very edge of it and I'm going to go in the bottom a little bit, the bottom corner. And right into my eyeball. That felt good. Ooh. It's nice to know that it's blending in with my irritated skin. Same color as that weird skin thing I'm going on on my eyelid. It's been there for weeks. I'm not bitter. I love having weird skin issues. Okay, now I've placed the color. Now I wanna just like lessen the crazy. So I'm gonna get a buffing brush. This is the Still Spot Essentials. They don't sell these anymore at Walmart. They sell weird assortment of brushes, but they don't have the selection that they used to. It grinds my gears. These were such nice, cheap brushes. Although I guess it's probably because they have the e.l.f. brushes, which are nice, but I like this one better. All right, so I toned that down a wee little bit. Too much? No, don't do too much. Let's just make this a subtle-ish look. Let's not go too crazy. Let's try this color, but I'm leaning towards that color, you know what I'm saying? Brush to get into the crease would be a roundy. Yeah, that's one right here. It's not too big, it's not super floofy, it's a little more dense. And I just want it to fit into that V right where my eye socket bone is and the flash line. There, see that intensifies the colors just a little bit. Gradually increasing the intensity is what my want to do, but the reality of what I actually do is just mash all the colors together until it's muddy, because I'm a pro. Hashtag not a pro. 
I was thinking of doing a drag queen tutorial because uh, I love RuPaul's Drag Race and like the makeup on those queens, holy hell, they transform their face. It is a completely different face. It is unreal. So I'm just curious what my face would look like. The best part that I really, really want to try is they glued down their eyebrows and then conceal over them so they're gone and then draw them way up there. It makes their eyes so lifted, they look younger. I really want to try that, but it's scary. <laughs> I have to think about it. That one, uh, I would definitely need some wine, some kind of liquid encouragement to pull that off. I have to fix this side up, it got away from me. Uh, you know, I just look like um, I've got really irritated eyes, like I'm suffering from allergies or something. Not to worry, let's darken up with a smaller brush and then I'm going to add some sparkle. So I want to get this tapered one because I can go as fine as I want. Going right in with the darkest color. Do they label these colors? Nope, you just, these are the colors that you get. You can make up your own names for them. This one is called Yowza. That's what I've named it. You're welcome, Huda Beauty. You're welcome. Oh, I'm already buffing it out way too much. That also was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Trying to match up the intensity of the other side. Did it work? No. <laughs> this is my first time doing makeup ever. <laughs> Pull that color out of that. Make it more like a, yeah, like that. That's what I want. Make it more cat-like. So I just intensified the darkness at the corner. Now I'm going to add a shimmer to the top. Which one do I want to use? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go with the purpley one. I'm just gonna use my finger. That was underwhelming. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush, another little one, and I'm gonna go in with the lighter one. Cause I don't wanna put too dark of a color on the inner corner of my eye. Ooh. Blend it out. Let's put on some lashes. Let's do these babies. I don't know how to open the bag. Is this some kind of trickery? The longest ones are going to be going at the outer side. I'm going to roll it up. Or not. And I'm just going to hold this for 30 seconds so it dries a bit, so it's nice and tacky when you put it on. If you put it on immediately, it's too wet, it's not gonna stay. And to wash the lashes, I just use makeup remover and just gently try to wash the glue off and if there's some mascara that ended up on there. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. So you wanna grab your mirror and look down and place it as close to your lash line. This is going well. It's not Five minutes later. Damn. Jean Claude Van Damme, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, this one went a little over my lash line. Five minutes later. Okay, so here they are on. There's something else. <laughs> Woo! They're pretty though. See that there's uh, where the band starts, so I'm gonna add some black eyeliner to even all that out so there isn't such a dramatic end to my lashes. I'm gonna try to use this because it is a liquid. Good luck to me. Now. 
Oh god. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's what I did, and I'm regretting it already. Uh, uh oh, this is way too much. Look at that liner. Stellar. <sighs> what did you do? Okay, let's get some Q-tops and some makeup remover. Okay, phew. Now, I'm gonna go in with a cold pencil, try to fix it. Good thing there's makeup remover, cause this looks like absolute crap. Let's try a black eyeshadow. It gets worse and worse. <laughs> Can I redeem this look? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well I got rid of that little blop there, so that's nice. I smoked this out a bit so it's not so terribly defined. Let's go back in with some sparkle again because it seems to have worn out. Seeing some progress. I'm gonna get a clean brush. So let's go in with this color here. Well, smooth it out a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> So forget it, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. How not to blush. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. palette. Let's just go crazy, cause might as well. When in Rome. Let's try this coral color, cause it's really pretty. Let's see what happens. Way overdrawn lip, whoops. Ugh, oh, jeez. Shooting for the stars, are we? Super dry. This is so dry. So we definitely need to add some. Okay, I'm gonna try this Marcel stuff. See what happens because it feels pretty moisturizing. It looks like I have um, cold sores all around my lips. Should I? Here we go. <laughs> now it just looks like like I have an aggravated cold sore. No. Nope. Ooh, let's try that. This is really dark. This is like a... What the hell color is this? Vintage. Okay, I like that. I like that better. But I like dark colors, so let's do that. So I'm going to buff it out because this looks crazy. I'm gonna soften the edges. I can feel these eyelashes. I either put them on wrong, which is very likely, or they're just, there's so much lash on them, they're heavy. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Marcel Champagne. By making this part lighter and the outer darker, it makes your lips look fuller and juicier. Bigger. Look at me trying to be all light and then I end up going full dark drama. I cannot do a subtle look to save my life. <laughs> now I'm going to conceal the deal and, oh, fingers crossed this works. Okay, so what I did was I took a Q-tip, I took makeup remover and I, I just removed the darkness under there because that was way too much. Then I went in with concealer. Now I'm gonna go back in with that brush that still has shadow. I'm not adding any more shadow to it. And I'm just gonna go back in to try to smooth it out a little bit so that there isn't just a harsh line of concealer. And I also took concealer around my lip to clean that up. Now I'm just gonna add some mascara and then I'm not touching my face anymore because it's just a terrible idea if I do. I'm gonna use some damn girl because this my most favorite is mascara. It just makes my lashes go a kabam. Yep, that happened. Just stab myself in the eye. 
After you just fixed your concealer, look at all that. Good job. And this is the final look. I'm a little bling, cause this is glam as hell. It was fun. <laughs> it's a lot of makeup. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this disaster unfold, cause that's exactly what it was. Um, the Huda Beauty eyeshadow is really lovely. I'm looking forward to using it again to try it out some more. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you next video. Bye! There's that brush. I'm gonna ruin everything. Mm. No more touchy.